cargo slave ships featuring the pyramid of Mycerinus and or Menkare. Menkare. One, could you get the dictionary and read for me the definition of the word ship? Yes, ship. Basic sense, hollowed out tree trunk. Any vessel of considerable size, navigating deep water and not propelled by oars, paddles, or the like, distinguished from boat. Any aircraft, as a B-29 is a large ship, to put or take on board a ship, to send or transport by any carrier, as we ship the cattle by rail. Let me say that again. To send or transport by any carrier, as we ship the cattle by rail. Another word for cattle is goyim. That's what the Jewish, the people who call themselves Jew, the Jewish people, they call the cows going goyims, right? That's right. In colloquial terms, to send away or get rid of. Thanks. Um, I'm going to show you a cross section of the pyramid the, that was built in the fourth dynasty. The pyramid that King Menkare uh, built and the back side of the pyramid there is a uh, big huge hollowed out spot where they have taken out the seahorse. You can see the parameters of the seahorse um, that was once there and they took it out so that we can't figure this out and the seahorse representing the mammal the water mammal in, in which we are we are the seahorse we are the seamen and, and through that pyramid I know for a fact that we will be shipped back to the cosmos back to Sirius B um, and so Minkari is showing us that we are the sea monsters and that um, we are currently existing at the bottom of the sea and, and all of us collectively who still um, have our souls right. we are on ice yes and but collectively we are we are a spacecraft we've been woven into a spacecraft all of our souls yes and and therefore as we look at this pyramid and we see the actual shape of a seahorse um, we can call ourselves the seamen which are inside the um, inside the man's in that yes the, man. uh, the man's um, penis, penis. Right. and so that's how we will be shipped back out into the cosmos and I'm going to prove that because the brothers are out on the street saying that we were slaves and which we were never slaves never. in this country because this country we were here and um and so right. um okay we were here before the european yes well we were the europeans and then well, they took that the, identity over too before the cracker right and so i want to show you here that we are under the ice berg and that that represents their pyramid, the ice, because we are, um, we we fell down to the bottom of the sea, mm -hmm. and they iced us over, as because the only way you can get rid of a virus, because we are like a virus, we can never, we are immortal, we can never, you can never kill a virus, you could never kill us, we are immortal, and but the only way to subdue a virus is to what? Uh, to, to freeze, freeze it, it. Yes. to freeze it, because if they burn us, and then we, because we are, well, we're already fire. So yes, burning us would do no good. Yeah, it just fortify us. Right. And so I'm going to use um, this cross section as an example for them, for me to see that even inside the foul, the penis that you can see the imprint, the design that looks like semen you're looking at it and so when the uh, penis is erected it, it forms the shape of a ship 
you know, the the ships that they say that we are part, we've been lying in right. inside and was was brought here through the middle passage. But the middle passage is, is through what? The, through the legs of the woman. Yeah, the, right through the legs of the woman, the female. Right. And, and therefore, you see the semen there um, in that erected phallus is the the cargo slave the sh the ship the, the the penis that will um send us back out into the cosmos and like a quantum like the quantum theory when we jettison ourselves back out to uh the home where we came from Sirius B that's right and if we look at this cargo slave ship that they portray us as, then you see that uh, it's impossible for anyone to survive in that sort of environment. Even when you, you know, you get into out to middle of the sea, it's so cold there you will freeze. I mean, you freeze in your car if you don't have heat in it. You know, turn on yeah. the heat. And so right now we are in, we are down inside the sea now um frozen mm -hmm. okay so we are subdued i'm going to show you here minkare along with um the goddess bat and her thor and i'm going to explain to you how we are with the combination of the three of them mm -hmm. okay because her thor and bat are the goddess of the Milky Way, which is the way we will return to once we wake up out of this slumber, this sleep. Right. And you can see there the 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 um, king who built the fourth pyramid, and that that is very impressive because, like the four, we need to elevate to the number four to emanate from the state that we're in. As long as we follow the Mayat principle. Can you read here about the goddess Bat? Yes, goddess Bat, a celestial cow goddess of the Egyptians, especially revered in Upper Egypt. She was initially the deification of the cosmos, especially the Milky Way. That's right. And you can look underneath her chin and see that bovine yes. imprint under there. Um, there's another goddess here. Her name is Hathor. Yes, she is associated with the Milky Way and a goddess of the underworld. She is associated with the dog star, welcoming the dead into the next life, a role as sky goddess. Her name means the house of Heru, referring to the sky, Heru dwelling in the royal family of kings. Right, and under her chin as well, you can see the bovine imprint, the, the profile. Right, the horns. So, Yes. Yes, and as well as the chin. And the chin. Yes. yes, and so th they say what to study their skin and write the gospel. That's and correct. that's the good news for us is that gospel as we study their skin, we need to um, de detach from always looking at the fact that they their nostrils are wider and the shape of their chin and all like that i mean we get caught up and stop right there but we need to study their skin so we can write the gospel so we can know and here That's they right. are holding the they're are holding um the Mencare. king Mencare, and so they're they are melded together like um then their nucleus is um it's like a mind melt a mind melt yes. and so you, if you notice here, the goddess Bat, right hand, is positioned on the arm of um, Menkare, as well as the goddess Hathor. But it's impossible for them to be at that position unless they are, what, inside of him. That's right. Right? So all these energies combine up together, and, and which makes a more powerful energy. Right, and right. with him being the king and being the builder of the pyramid and creating the seahorse or the sea monster, he is um, t using the two goddesses as power to navigate us through the Milky Way. Right, they're all combined as one. Correct. Mm -hmm. It's like a um, 
this like this, a single consciousness yes right. uh, um, a nuclear react uh, connection yes. okay and so that is the that is how we all can be at and were at one time right, a, right. of one mind one consciousness yes. okay until we came across this uh, fungus the right. cracker who has subdued us but this is only temporary of course and the Bible even says that that's right but let's look at the wings here the wings around the loins of Ben mm -hmm. and um, you can see that it's the wings of the Falcon and it's wrapped around along with the tail point and when you look at the Falcon itself and you see the identical pattern that the Mankari has and so he's saying that we will fly away and so like sometimes the men they, when they you know zip up their pants they say well your flies open or whatever like that mm -hmm. but that's because it's true I mean that is the fly right there and you're going to fly away so the semen will be inside the pyramid and jettison out through quantum leaps back into the cosmos That's for right. those who have retained their soul because you studied the skin right and and you and writing, write the gospel. writing the gospel That's right. and which is the good news okay and so um, the Falcon is also on a lot of the kings and the deities heads That's right. to to prove that this is the way that we will uh, travel out of here mm -hmm. through flight by the wings of the vulture so to speak now um, I want you also to notice when they say study my skin on the skin of Minkare that he has a phallic <clears throat> he has a phallic there and it represents that phallic represents the cargo slave ship with the seaman in it the seahorse Right. The sea monster. That's correct. Yes. Yeah, they're always showing you that so called slave ship on the street, but actually, that's just a cross section of the male's penis. Right. Because why? Because we insane Negroes want to stop it. Oh, that's me. That looks like me. That, But we won't study the skin. And mm -hmm. who have you seen? looked at the back side of the pyramid and brought that into forefront and say where is the seahorse that was cut out of that pyramid which the, the pyramid is you know it the the Orion's belt up in the sky this is one of the pyramids that is aligned, based, yes. aligned there mm -hmm. and that's where we're going to go that through that fourth pyramid that's right um fourth dynasty pyramid I mean yes and um, the, even the Bible says I will bring you into Egypt again in ships in ships we will go back to Sirius B in ships we will be shipped but it's like shipping a package shipping from one point to another right just like they did with uh, the Ethiopians and when they went they took them out of Ethiopia and, and put them in Israel. Them Israel they ship and like you explained in the dictionary um, you read the definition transported by aircraft mm -hmm. you can be shipped that way and we are the cows the goyim the goyim mm -hmm. the buffalo the cows and so they they place them in what cargo cargo B-29 ship them right right and so um the phallic is is the is how we're going to um jettison out of this place here once we wake up we we um start the kundalini start rising and global warming and melting the iceberg right. correct that we are under it's it's a, a top of us it's antarctica which is we see it at the bottom but it's actually on top of this if this is the earth right okay it's it's we're underneath it and we are so massive that we almost as we just as big as we think the world is yes 
and in patterns. And if you notice here, I have um pat spiritual patterns that are coming through. Yes, I've noticed that. And that is actually us. The spirits are showing that that is us mm -hmm. woven together like a fabric. Yes. You know? Yes. Like like rumple steel skin. Mm-hmm. Every night, you know, he spun all night, like we sleep all night, we spun straw into gold. We are straw because we are the wood. That's and like right. you said that the shit was hollowed out tree trunk. Tree trunk. Like the penis. Mm -hmm. Like um the slave ship. I mean, it is so elementary all of this, but we can't do it if we stay distracted and and yes. involved into the cracker system we must of wake up. Yes. We have to wake up so that we can melt that ice. Correct. And when we do, we will be shipped back through the pyramid of Mycerinus. Okay. And um, back into the cosmos. So, so you need to... Well, as far as I'm concerned, the picture of the cargo slave ship is is uh, is just a distraction, another distraction to keep me from knowing who and what yeah, I really a, am. It's a fabrication to uh, prevent you from actually thinking uh, logically and using common sense. Right, and that's something most insane Negroes don't have. That's it's right. common sense. Because right. they want to follow the cracker. They don't want to consider themselves as sea horse or sea monster. They That's want to right. consider themselves as uh, Ken and Barbie. Right. That's all. Now, it says here on this ship, on that B-29, that they took the Ethiopians in cargo. It could have said the name of the company that this plane is hired out as but no they call it cargo because we are the goyim mm -hmm. we are the slave ship right the cattle being shipped right we're the seamen the sea monster monsters or a cow the humans you know the human the colored months the months mm -hmm. that spin that's right that's what we are we are the months that's our soul mm -hmm. and once it becomes crystallized and we become christ we're going to warm up through nuclear energy and burn the hell out of the icebergs and burn this place just like we did when we was in Mars. We, we landed on Mars. We became that burning virus right. and, and we destroyed that place and that's what we're going to do when we wake up here. This place will be destroyed. We will go up in flames. Right. It happened before and, and it will happen, happen again. again. That's right. Right. And so I am delighted to know that my um, that the Pharaoh, along with Hathor and the goddess Bat, will be assisting us to getting back up to the cosmos, to Sirius B right. through the Milky Way, and is showing you that along with the the. Um, holding his back they have his back right? right at the same time so they're inside of him and i will be inside of him as well That's and right. so will you as c mons That's mons right. look at the word mons the mons is the spiraling the spiral like we spiral our up the kundalini up to the 12 across That's right. and we become inflamed we will emanate to the the planet Sirius B. Right, from the ancient airports. All right. The pyramids. The pyramids. Mm -hmm. it, sh it proves that there because they have like the corners, the two corners there mm -hmm. inside the cross section of the pyramid. You see the two corners. So where is it going? Uh, I mean, when, when you look at it, you see the face of it and you see an entrance point. But they don't show you the backside of it. But when you look at the backside, it's a hollowed out tree uh, trunk. It's a hollowed out tree trunk. It's a hollowed out sea horse or a sea man, which they stole. They took that right. part, like they defaced the Sphinx as yeah, well. Right. They defaced this as well. But you can see here, he's showing you, it says, read my skin. 
Correct. Right? The gospel. He's showing you his phallic right there. He's going to be the transporter right. of you. Right? And do not leave until he comes to get you. That's right. We won't because we are frozen in ice. But eventually we're going to burn it up. Right? We're going to right. burn this place down through global warming. And there's the entrance again of the pyramid of my Serenus. But his his name in African culture is Menkare. Menkare. And that's the backside with mm -hmm. the missing sea horse. That's and right. those of us are going to help deliver us along with the the vulture, the turkey vulture, who will, we will take flight out to the cosmos. Yes. And instead of being at the bottom of the sea, being seamen, we will be okay. in cargo slave and we will be shipped back to the cosmos where we belong that's right 